Thank you for joining me for this week three update. I want to start by saying I'm really excited to see what your major essays are going to look like because the drafting work so far is super interesting. Um, you guys have some great stories to tell. I want to start off with a reminder for week four, so for next week, and that's that we will have our first Wednesday due date. So the peer edit of the major SA1 drafts that you're working on right now will be due on Wednesday. And there are directions for how to do the peer edit um, in, in the week four folder. So it's coming. Um, you're not behind. I just want to remind you about the Wednesday due date because I know it can be, you know, it it throws an extra little wrinkle into things to have a Wednesday due date. It's the only way we can do it though and keep on track with when the units need to be completed and your semester finished. So keep that in mind. I am giving early feedback on your outline, which you're working on this week, if you want to submit it by Friday at midnight. So I, it's still due on Sunday. I'm not changing the due date, but if you want my input while you're working on your draft, which is also due Sunday, go ahead and submit it early and I will start looking for those. I will be leaving you feedback on your outline uh, in, in your migrates. So for last week, I left feedback in a couple different places. So I left thesis feedback in discussion board and I left um, feedback on your graphic organizers in my grades, so individually. And I left, anyway, there are lots of different reasons why I leave them in different places, but I just wanted to tell you where to look for them. So speaking about the thesis discussion board, I hope you have a second to look around. I know some of you did and um, see what other people are posting because there are some really excellent ideas out there. This is a great time to sign up and meet with Noah for feedback on your major SA1 draft. You can also meet with him about your outline. You can meet with Noah about anything you want. He's great. He is uh, our tutor that's assigned specifically for our class. I meet with him. He knows the assignments. He can help you really specifically because he knows exactly what we're working on. His his hours for consultation are Friday through Sunday from three to eight, and there's information on how to sign up with him in the weekly folders. There is also an assignment to meet with our tutor once during each unit, which there are several more weeks in our unit, but I just wanted to let you know that um, you might want to get in there early because at, at the end of the unit, he'll probably get swamped and run out of spots. So get in there now. And if you've already had an appointment with Noah, those count. I mean, so any appointment you have with him for the entire unit works. And there'll be directions on how to put in your information for to get credit for that assignment when we get to the end of the unit. The grammar quiz lessons are all open if you want to work ahead. There's actually a real advantage to going through those grammar lessons early. So this semester, I'm trying to opening them all up. The due dates are still rolling out week by week, but you're welcome to jump in there. This week, there was a little bit of an issue with our week three grammar quiz. The link from the weekly folders was taking you to the right place. But if you were clicking in the left-hand navigation, it was taking you to last week's quiz. <laughs> um, anyway, so that's sorted out now. And it looks like, you know, the there are lots of attempts completed and people are moving along. Just wanted to let you know, um, if you went into the week three quiz and saw a repeated quiz, go back in through the weekly folder and you'll find it. So my office hours continue to be Tuesday and Thursdays, noon to one. I am switching from Blackboard Collaborate to Zoom because it gives me a lot more functionality in being able to share my screen and walk through things with you. So the link for that is in the weekly folder. For phone appointments, just email me sometimes you're available and we'll set it up. I'm, I'm always open to it. Just say in your email, I'd like a phone appointment. Here are some times that I'm available in the next couple days. I'll email you back and confirm a time and a phone number to call me. And I think that's all I have for our week three update. Great job so far. 
everybody's jumping right in and I'm really looking forward to seeing what we come up with on this first major essay.